we're going to cover how to prepare for tryouts, how to select clubs to try out for, and what to bring to tryouts. So <clears throat> the first thing we're going to start with is our family resources section on our website. So you'll go to our website, which is just evergreenregion.org, on this juniors tab, and then come down here to the family resources. This page um, is very helpful in order to um, for parents that are maybe not as familiar with club or are familiar with club and just want some help and guidance um, with, you know, asking quite clubs potential questions and things like that. So um, this first one is going to be the parent guide, and it's just a PDF file with um, lots of information for you guys that you can kind of look through. You can see our table of contents here. Um, gives you an idea of what club volleyball is if you're brand new. How do you select um, what clubs to try out for, questions to ask, and then some of the other requirements and things that go along with it. So um, this is something that you can definitely read through on your own time and get um, a lot of the information that you might need. One um, nice thing that is in here is um, the age definition chart for the season, and that's going to give you an idea of <clears throat> what age group your um, child is eligible for. So if you see here on the side, that's going to be the month that your child was um, born, and then over here will be the year. So if they were born December of 04, they're eligible for the 13s age group. Now, with some of these odd number age groups, the 13s, 15s, and 17s, in our region, we don't have a ton of um, those teams. So those teams usually, if they are made specifically for a 13s team, um, they will play in 14s tournaments, 15s will play in 16 tournaments. So if you are not finding a ton of U13 teams, your child is um, able to play up um, and participate and try out for the 14s teams, which are more likely to be offered. So if you do have a child that is eligible for an odd number age group, then go ahead and look at those 14s, 16s, and 18s tryouts as well. So that is our parent guide. And like I said, you can go ahead and scroll through that. Back on this family resources page, there is some information that is pulled directly out of that parent guide for you to see. And it's, how do I select a club? So we have pulled out here some of the questions to ask potential clubs. And, you know, we encourage you to ask these questions before tryouts or at tryouts in order to help gather some information to find the best fit for your family and for your child. Now, it's important for you guys to understand that each club runs independently as their own business by and they're under us as a governing body in USA Volleyball. And so they have to follow certain policies and rules under us as a governing body, but they are able to kind of set up as their own business. So they will determine whether or not they would like to be profit, nonprofit, how to conduct their tryouts and practices, what their club philosophy is, and what their stance is on a lot of other um, areas like cost of their club and things like that. So make sure that you guys kind of understand that when selecting clubs, is we don't have specific control over some of those things that the clubs decide. So on this questions to ask potential clubs, I'm just gonna kind of point out a couple ones that are really important um, to make sure that you cover. Cost is definitely one. You're gonna kinda wanna find out how much their teams cost and if that's something that's affordable for your family. <clears throat> if you find um, clubs that you're interested in but the cost is a little too high, um, then that's gonna be a club that you definitely wanna eliminate and not really try out for if that's not gonna work for your family. You know, travel, are they regionally traveling? So just kind of within the Evergreen region or are they traveling out of state? They're going maybe to Colorado for some qualifiers or Las Vegas and things like that. So again, if that's something that maybe doesn't fit your schedule, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you eliminate those clubs and find clubs that maybe are gonna just play more regionally. Um, another really important was in, is if your child can play on other sports during the club volleyball season. If they're basketball players, if they wrestle baseball track in the spring, you're going to want to make sure that the clubs um, are willing to accommodate those, you know, conflicts on those dates that maybe they can't come to practice or they can't come to a tournament because they have that. Um, if that's something that, you know, maybe even some other extracurricular activities like band at school or, you know, they're on student council or things like that. So... You're going to kind of want to make sure that if your child's involved in a lot of other things, the club volleyball um, team that you pick is able to work around those. And again, if they're not willing to work around those, um, then that's probably a club that you can eliminate because you, you know, want your child to be involved in some of these other things. So go ahead and um, look at these and write down some of the questions or print them off from our parent guide. 
Now, in order to directly ask the clubs, like I said, if you go to their tryout specifically, then um, you can ask them the questions there. But we kind of encourage you to find out some of that information before you decide to try out for them. So you, um, you know, can eliminate them and you don't waste your time going to try out if it's not going to work out. So if you'd like to do that, you can again go to our juniors tab, junior girls and girls clubs. And you're going to find a list of all the clubs in our region. Now you can see here, our, we have a pretty big region. So you can sort them by different areas by going over here. So let's say that we want to focus on the Spokane, Coeur d'Alene kind of area. And so you can go ahead and click search. And then it's only going to show you the clubs that are listed um, in that area. And so you can see here that the email address and the phone number for the club director is provided. So you can reach out to them. You can also um, click on the name of the club, and if they have a website, it will link you out to that. And so this way you can probably find some of the information about cost of the teams, what teams, <clears throat> age groups they plan to have, where they're gonna practice and things like that. You can also see that like Apex here has listed their mission and philosophy, um, and they have their coaches listed and things like that. So that's good information where you could probably eliminate some of those questions that are on that sheet and then specific ones you could probably go ahead and answer or you know go to tryouts if that's something that you guys decide to do. So the next thing we're going to um, focus on is what to bring to tryouts, what paperwork you need to bring and what's required. So we're going to go back up here to this juniors tab and then over to the tryout information page. On this page you're going to find listed the tryout dates, so this is when they start for the different age groups, and then right here are is a PDF file of all the tryout times for the clubs if they're hosting tryouts. So they go by age group, and our boys are listed first here, and then it'll go by U12, U13, 14, U15, 16, and then U17, 18. And you can see that the area is listed, the date, the club, the time, and the location. And if any of the clubs have additional requirements, we'll list them over here in the red section. Um, some of the clubs do require registration on their own website um, prior or they have additional paperwork. As you can see, for example, T3 is asking that you go to their website and register for their tryouts separately from just the um, Evergreen Region membership and information that you need. So you can go ahead and, and sort through this. Now one thing is, unfortunately, we do have some more densely populated areas like the Spokane and Tri-Cities area. And so some of the tryouts may overlap between the clubs in those areas. So if you're interested in trying out for, um, you know, the two clubs that they have the same tryout times, like as you can see here, Renovators and Club South, um, then we suggest that, again, you reach out to the clubs and ask if there's an alternate time that they can try out for or if they're going to be holding makeup, makeup tryouts that they can um, try out for as well. So always kind of reach out to the clubs and ask them those questions. And so what to bring to tryouts and what you're going to need. The first thing that you're going to need is a current USAV membership. And so you can check out our tutorial on how to register for your membership, whether you are a new or previous member, you can either register for that tryout membership or for that full membership to be covered. So if you will have a current membership, which we encourage you to do so you don't have to pay that membership fee at each tryout that can get kind of spendy, um, you're going to click on this current membership tryout packet and it'll give you all the information that you need from the region to take with you. So you're going to need this medical release form filled out and handed in to each club that you plan on trying out for as well as you're gonna read through this concussion information and the cardiac arrest information. And then um, this final page will be the signature page that you've complied and read with all um, the cardiac arrest and concussion um, information. And so you'll take both of those two forms signed and completed to each trial and you'll hand those into the clubs along with your current membership. Now, the region will provide a list to the clubs of all the current members but it is also a good idea to bring a member card. And so once you've registered, you can log into your WebPoint account or your child's WebPoint account. And over here on the left-hand side, it, under member area, it's gonna say print member card. And so you're gonna go to the screen and click print. And again, you can just take that with you to the um, tryout and they'll be able to see that they're a current member. Now, if you purchase a full junior membership, it's gonna be active right away as soon as you pay for it. If you decided to purchase the tryout membership, that won't be valid until the first date of tryouts. So that's gonna show up as a pending membership until that first date listed for tryouts. So this year, 2017, it's gonna be November 4th, and that's when it'll show current. So we encourage you on November 4th, if you can, to log in and print it out on that date so it actually shows that it's current versus 
pending. So right here, you'll see that it, I have an actual member number that would just say pending on those trial memberships. So that's how you would access your member card. Um, and so from there, you have all the paperwork that you would need. So we kind of encourage you guys to print off that um, medical release form and the concussion form, fill those out and then make copies of them so you don't have to actually fill out like four different um, medical release forms because that can become kind of a pain in the butt. Um, and again, check the clubs that your institution is trying out for to make sure that if they have additional paperwork or registration requirements, you do that prior to going to their tryouts. So lastly, we just have a couple tips from you for you guys, for your um, kiddos to make sure that they're ready for trials. We know it can be kind of a nerve wracking and stressful time. And so, you know, best thing to do is kind of keep them calm, make sure they try to get plenty of rest the night before so they're fresh and ready to go bring snacks and water and sports drinks for them throughout the day. We do um, a lot about an hour in between tryouts so that they're you guys are able to get there for travel time. If you need to stop and get some food, you guys have time to do that. And finally, um, you know, it can be kind of overwhelming, especially for some of the younger players to go to tryouts. There's lots of kiddos there and they're nervous. So um, just know that a lot of the coaches look at more than just skill. You know, they do look at, you know, if they have a good attitude, if they can be a good teammate, and if you know, they're encouraging to the other um, kiddos that are there trying out, if they can take direction from the coach, if they're coachable. So if the coach kind of comes up to them and gives them some feedback, if they see that they go out there and they're trying, you know, to implement what the coach told them, you know, that's really positive and the coaches really like that. And just, you know, work hard and have a really positive attitude. And that really stands out to coaches um, more than sometimes skill can. And those are the kids that, you know, coaches really love to have on the team. So, you know, encourage your kiddo to, you know, do their best, have a good attitude, be a good teammate. Um, and, and coaches will definitely take notice to that. So if you need any more um, information or help from us as a region, we're more than happy to help you. So go ahead and give us a call in the office. It's 509-290-5552. Or you can email us at office at evergreenregion.org. Like I um, kind of said before, we do have some other tutorials on how to register for your membership. And we will also have an additional tutorial on the <clears throat> herbal office and offer and acceptance agreement process, which is how do you accept an offer for a spot on a club team. So check that one out next.